We've always known that we were gonna come back to the family farm. Ever since we were barefoot little girls running around the farm, it's been our intention to come back. We told our dad, when we turn 18, we're gonna get away for about 10 years because we need to talk to somebody else other than our cows and our cousins, <laughs> and that we have no idea what we're gonna do, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it. Stephanie and I went to college together for two years at a liberal arts college. I'm two years younger than her. She graduated with a business degree from Susquehanna, then I transferred to Iowa State and graduated there. I wanted to be a veterinarian. While I was doing it, I realized if I come home to be a veterinarian, I'm going to be in a lot of debt and eventually I'll dig myself out, but that's not really going to make our farm sustainable. And so I started looking into value-added products, and it's something Stephanie always wanted to do also. And. Now we're here and we're doing it. We sell Icelandic style skier yogurt. It's just yogurt that is really thick and creamy. It's really nutrient dense. It's high in protein. We source our milk directly from our family's organic dairy farm. We're in quite a few stores in the mid-Atlantic. By 2023, we are working on becoming national. We have big goals, but we're pretty determined and we have a great crew and we have great support from our family. And we like to say also that it's yogurt on a mission to connect the disconnected with dairy farming and the general consumer. We're trying to inspire people. It's kind of like a lifestyle brand yes. mixed with yogurt. What drove us home is family. Our grandpa, our dad, our cousins, everyone here on our family farm. Well, we get done with our morning chores and a lot of times we get strung out everywhere else during the day, so when we're done with our morning chores, we have dinner, so it's usually chicken and potatoes or whatever the heck we have in twos. We've done that for years, it just seems natural to us. We do a full dinner at breakfast time because everybody's done a full day's work by that time and they're hungry. Some people think we're weird, but that's what works for us and we love it. The best crop that was ever raised on this farm is kids. We raise a lot of crops, but the kids are the best. And there's been a lot of kids, uh, starting with my husband's family. They come here in 41, and I can't tell you how many kids have been raised on this. And I think there's going to be a bunch more, too. <laughs> Grandpa was the jolliest guy, and so we saw that growing up. We saw driving slow by pastures and dirt roads. We had no idea why, it just drove us crazy. And now we came home, and we drive slow by those pastures and fields. And we use our smile to sell yogurt and to talk to people. As our grandpa would say, he never said business, he always said business. He's in the farming business. We're realizing now as we're doing business that we have a lot of our grandpa and our father and our grandmother into us. Our grandpa passed away almost 10 years ago now and we promised him that we were gonna come back to the farm and we promised them that we're gonna figure out our own twist on the farm. We made that promise and we're sticking to it. <laughs>